Hey there, fellow horse lovers. Whether you're a brand new horse owner or considering bringing a beautiful equine friend into your life, this video is a must watch. Owning a horse is rewarding, but can be overwhelming, especially if you're new to horse care. In today's video, I'll break down the top 10 most common mistakes new horse owners make and how to avoid them. By the end, you'll have the knowledge and confidence to give your horse the best care possible. So stick around, hit that subscribe button, and let's dive into it. Let's kick things off with feeding. Feeding your horse the right diet is crucial for their overall health and well-being. Horses need a balanced diet to thrive, and the biggest mistake is not providing enough forage. Forage, such as hay and grass, should make up the majority of their diet. Horses are designed to graze most of the day, needing a constant flow of fiber. This grazing behavior is essential for their digestive system to function properly. Overfeeding grains can lead to serious health problems like colic and laminitis. These conditions can be painful and even life-threatening for your horse. I learned this the hard way with my first horse, Champ. I thought I was giving him the best by feeding him lots of grains, but I was wrong. After consulting with my vet, I switched Champ to a forage-first diet which made a world of difference. His health improved dramatically and he was much happier. Ensure your horse has access to plenty of fresh hay or pasture throughout the day. This will help keep their digestive system running smoothly and prevent issues. Not all hay is created equal, so choose one appropriate for your horse's age, activity level and dietary needs. High quality hay is essential for their nutrition. Your veterinarian or an equine nutritionist can help determine the best type and amount of hay. They can provide valuable guidance tailored to your horse's specific needs. Remember, a healthy horse starts with a healthy diet. By providing the right balance of forage and consulting with professionals, you can ensure your horse lives a long, happy and healthy life. Next up is regular vet checkups. Preventative care is worth its weight in gold. Horses need routine veterinary care to stay healthy. Catching a health issue early is easier and cheaper than dealing with a full-blown problem. Regular visits allow your vet to catch potential issues before they become serious. Vaccinations are crucial for protecting horses from diseases. Your vet can recommend the appropriate vaccination schedule based on your horse's age, location and lifestyle. Regular vet visits are an investment in your horse's long-term health and well-being. Let's talk about grooming. Grooming is vital for your horse's health and well-being. Regular grooming removes dirt, sweat and loose hair, preventing skin irritations and infections. It also stimulates blood circulation and promotes a healthy coat. Grooming daily, even if it's just a quick brush, makes a huge difference. Pay attention to their hooves to prevent thrush, a bacterial infection that can cause lameness. Use grooming time to check for cuts, scrapes or swelling. Early detection of injuries can make a huge difference in your horse's recovery. Chapter 4. Inadequate exercise and mental stimulation. Horses need regular exercise to stay physically and mentally fit. Without it, they can suffer from a range of health issues, both physical and psychological. They need a variety of exercise to keep their bodies and minds stimulated. This includes activities like jumping, trail riding, and even simple playtime. Lack of exercise can lead to boredom, frustration, and destructive behaviors. You might notice your horse chewing on stable doors or becoming restless and agitated. Horses are naturally curious and active animals. They thrive on interaction and exploration, which keeps their minds sharp and their bodies agile. In the wild, they'd roam for miles each day, grazing and interacting with other horses. This constant movement and social interaction are crucial for their well-being. Confined to stalls or small paddocks without enough stimulation, they get bored. This can lead to a host of problems, including anxiety and depression. Incorporate variety into your horse's exercise routine. This can include lunging, obstacle courses, and even interactive toys to keep them engaged. Trail rides, lunging sessions, and obstacle courses can make a remarkable difference. These activities not only provide physical exercise, but also mental challenges that keep your horse happy and healthy. A bored horse is a recipe for trouble, so ensure they get plenty of exercise and mental stimulation. By providing a variety of activities, you can help prevent behavioral issues and promote a happier, healthier horse. Remember, 
A well-exercised horse is not just physically fit, but also mentally content. Regular grooming and social interaction with other horses can also contribute to their overall well-being. So take the time to understand your horse's needs and incorporate a balanced exercise routine. Your horse will thank you with better behaviour, improved health and a stronger bond with you. Chapter 5. Failing to recognise early signs of health issues. It's our responsibility to be vigilant about our horse's health. As horse owners, we must be their first line of defence. Know their normal behaviour and spot any signs of illness or injury early on. This means observing them daily and understanding their routines. Horses are masters at hiding pain, so subtle signs could be their only way of telling you something's wrong. Look for changes in their eyes, posture and overall demeanour. Failing to recognise early signs is a common mistake. Often these signs are so subtle that they can be easily overlooked. Minor changes can be red flags for something more serious. A dull coat or a slight decrease in appetite might seem insignificant but can indicate underlying health issues. Trust your gut and call the vet sooner rather than later if you notice anything off. It's better to be safe than sorry when it comes to your horse's health. Pay attention to changes in behaviour, appetite or physical appearance. Unusual behaviour such as reduced activity or reluctance to move can be a sign of discomfort or pain. Early detection can make all the difference. Prompt medical attention can prevent minor issues from becoming major problems. You know your horse best, so stay vigilant. Your attentiveness and quick action can ensure your horse remains healthy and happy. Chapter 6. Improper hoof care. Your horse's hooves are crucial for their overall health and soundness. They need regular maintenance like our fingernails. Neglecting hoof care can lead to problems like thrush, abscesses and lameness. I used to be guilty of this myself. My horse Thunder developed thrush due to neglected hoof care. Now, I pick out my horse's hooves daily and schedule farrier appointments every six to eight weeks. Invest in a good hoof pick and learn how to pick out your horse's hooves correctly. Schedule regular appointments with a qualified farrier. Remember, no hoof, no horse. Let's talk about dental care. Horses' teeth constantly grow and need regular checkups and maintenance. Overlooking dental health is a common mistake. Horses need annual dental exams and often require their teeth to be floated. Neglecting dental care can lead to weight loss, difficulty chewing, colic and behavioural issues. My gelding ranger had sharp points on his molars causing him pain. Once addressed, he gained weight and his attitude improved. Ensure your horses get their teeth checked and floated annually by an equine dentist. Chapter 8. Mismanaging socialisation with other horses. Horses are social animals and thrive in herds. Proper socialisation and understanding herd dynamics are crucial. Introducing a new horse without proper introductions can lead to injuries and social unrest. Misinterpreting horse behaviour can also cause issues. Introduce horses slowly and carefully. Allow them to see and smell each other over the fence before gradual introductions. Every horse is an individual with their own personalities and quirks. Learn about horse behaviour and seek guidance from experienced horse people. Always prioritise safety in horse interactions. Chapter 9. Not providing a safe living environment. Safety should be our top priority for our equine companions. Underestimating the importance of sturdy fencing, secure gates or a well-maintained shelter is a common mistake. I once had a mare get her leg caught in a poorly maintained fence resulting in a nasty injury. Regularly check pastures and paddocks for potential hazards. Ensure fences are sturdy and in good repair and invest in safe, reliable gates. Horses need a safe, dry place to escape the elements. Make sure your horse's shelter is free from hazards and provides adequate protection. Chapter 10. Inconsistent training practices. Training is essential for horse ownership. It's how we communicate, build trust and teach them to be safe partners. Inconsistent training is a common mistake. Horses thrive on routine and predictability. They need clear, consistent cues and to know what's expected of them. Training should be a positive experience for both you and your horse. Be patient, be consistent and enjoy the journey. Build a partnership based on trust and mutual respect. Consistency is key to successful training. So there you have it, the top 10 common mistakes new horse owners make and how to avoid them. 
Remember, owning a horse is a journey filled with learning and it's okay to make mistakes as long as we learn from them. If you found this video helpful, give a thumbs up and subscribe for more horse care tips. Share your biggest takeaway or a mistake you've made in the comments and check out the description for links to my favorite horse care products.